Local Leaders Admiral Sir Lionel Halsey Lionel Halsey was the fourth son of the Right Honourable Sir Frederick Halsey of Gadsden Place. He saw action in the Boer War during the Siege of Ladysmith and was later made captain of the battle cruiser HMS New Zealand. When this ship stopped off at New Zealand in 1913, Halsey met some local Maori chiefs. One of them presented him with a haitiki, a sacred green stone and a pupu, or skirt, and said that it had belonged to his father, who had been victorious in all his battles. The chief asked Halsey whether he would wear the outfit if ever he was in battle. Halsey agreed to do so, not thinking he would ever have to honour this promise. A year later, the First World War broke out, and when HMS New Zealand took part in the Battle of Heilongland, Bight of Augur, Halsey honoured this promise and wore the traditional Maori clothing. One of the crew declared at the time, The old man has gone dippy! However, the ship which held a crew of 800 emerged from battle without a single scratch and there were no fatalities. Halsey was promoted to captain of the fleet and was on the bridge of HMS Iron Duke at the Battle of Jutland, for which he was made Companion of the Order of the Bath. He became third sea lord in 1917 and commanded the Australian Navy from 1918 to 20. Sir Lionel Halsey was knighted in 1918 and died in 1949 at the age of 77. The images show the Maori pupu worn by Halsey. The pupu is at the National Museum of the Royal New Zealand Navy. Halsey wore the pupu again at Dodger Bank on the 24th of January 1915. Before the action, he got many messages from all over the ship, hoping that the pupu was again going to be worn once more. Although the ship came under heavy fire, it was never hit. The painting shows the battle in August 1914 where Halsey kept his promise and first wore the Maori outfit.